because they start screwing up your memory. They get in the way of connecting to remember thoughts. And that's why actually blueberries are very good for your brain. They improve cognition. You know, there's been studies that have shown that eating a lot of blueberries every day actually improves your memory, improves your cognition. And they also have proanthocyanins in them. Proanthocyanins are in red wine and cat's claw and blueberries and dark chocolate. And those are the epicatechin dimers. Two aromatic rings, two OH groups. So you have four OH groups on one side of the molecule. That means it can form a hydroxyl wedge and actually get into very insoluble stuff and it makes it fall apart. 1997, Miller, who was a postdoctoral fellow in my lab at University of Washington, Department of Pathology, demonstrated that heparin sulfate proteoglycans can be produced by microglia. So you remember we talked about these, these are the Pac-Man in the brain. So both amoeboid and ramified microglia produce heparin sulfate proteoglycans. And actually in models of brain injury, the heparin sulfate proteoglycans, some of them glipocan 1, syndican 1, and syndican 3, they're actually upregulated in glial cells to participate in neurite outgrowth regulation. <laughs>